In this video, guys, we're gonna get to know Penly. It's a note-taking application that you can use on Android devices. For a number of years, if you were an Android user, you didn't really have the ability to take notes like you did on other ecosystems like Microsoft Surface and Apple products with the institution of OneNote or GoodNotes or various other PDF annotations. Well, in recent years, Penly has come out to be the dominant player on the Android ecosystem. So if you're an Android user using an Android device, you now have the ability through the Google Play Store to download an app like Penly. But why would you use Penly? Well, first and foremost, if you are someone that is looking at like a universal application like OneNote, you have that capability to do that and it'll work across all your ecosystems. But if you want a PDF annotation app that has a little more functionality because on Android, OneNote doesn't have the tools and the features that you find on other platforms. But with Penly, we're gonna get a bunch of other features that are really gonna help enhance our experience. Today, guys, I'm gonna take you through how to use Penly with a journal, as well as what those features are to improve your productivity. So stay with me. So diving right into Penly, we've already downloaded from the Google Play Store and we have it here in our desktop. We'll go ahead and open it. From here, this is what the general MindNote section looks like. And we can choose to go ahead and open up or create a document. We can create a new document, we can import a document, we can even create folders that allows us to help organize our different notebooks or notes that we're using. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and import a PDF notebook. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my files. And that's one thing that's really unique about using um, Penly is that you can access cloud files if you choose to. So we'll go ahead and we're going to import a PDF file and that might take a second to download from the cloud. So just bear with me. Once the file is opened up, we can easily go hit the back button and that'll take us back to our menu. From here, we have the ability to change some information. We could export it, we could copy it, we could create backups of it, we could rename it, but we can simply tap on it to open it. And this will take us into the actual PDF file. Now we're using the Key to Success Planner. If you wanna learn more about the planning system, go ahead and check out the description. But basically it's a tool built for personal, professional, or business growth that takes you through an ecosystem that many, many entrepreneurs, business owners, managers, or people like yourself have used over the last few years to graduate from paper to digital planning and have a system that helps them through the process of reaching not only what they have vision for themselves, but help them utilize their time most spent. So here we are at the key page. A couple things to note about using a PDF planner is that most of them are hyperlinks. So I can simply tap on any of the hyperlinks and it'll take me to individual pages throughout the planning system. I can click on this button here, it'll give me a year of view, which allows me to access any page. This key page on our planner allows you to access all the different tools like the vision board, the bucket list, as well as annual keys. Now, the thing that note is when you're in writing mode and you're writing, those hyperlinks don't work. That can be frustrating, but it's also very beneficial. Not having hyperlinks work allows you to utilize the page without having to worry about you navigating away from it. So just keep that in mind. So we'll disable our tool across the top and then we can be able to access any of the pages that we choose to. Some things to note is we can hit the lock button and that'll prevent the page from rotating. We also have the ability to hit undo. Under the settings, there's some different interfaces that are gonna allow us to synchronize, scale the page, change scroll direction, which is unique. So if I wanna change it to vertical, for example, go back, now I can change and go vertical versus before when it was on horizontal scroll, it would scroll this way. So that's a preference setting that you might wanna look at. So there's a handful of different preferences. I tell people generally when you're starting, the preferences that come with it are best to use as they are designed and then change them as you get more familiar with the app. So let's look at the individual tools that you can use for writing. Across the top, we have the pen tool. We can click on that pen tool and that's what gives us the ability to change the line thickness as well as the color. So I can choose a line thickness here. If I double tap on the line, it'll give me various thicknesses and that kind of can change as a default. Let's do three point for that matter. And I can go ahead and write some, write some notes on the screen. Now, if I wanna go ahead and change the color, I can do that. I can use an eyedropper tool. So if I wanted to go ahead and pick uh, a color, I can do that. And now if I were to write in that color, you can see. Now that's a unique feature 
of this device. You can actually save that as a preset if you wanted to. If you want to get back to just using, you know, say black, you can easily do that as well and have an all white or an all black uh, pen. In this case, we're gonna do black. Other features I think are really important to know about is the highlighter. So say if I'm going through and I'm just gonna write in my plans for the day. And I wanna be able to highlight that section and utilize this time blocking, I can do so. I'm gonna choose yellow and then I'm gonna choose this point color here. And I can go ahead and highlight that tool or highlight that text, I'm sorry. Now, if I wanna go ahead and erase, I can tap on the eraser tool. Again, I can check to have various things erased. So in this case, I don't wanna erase my drawing, I'm gonna, which is my hand text. I just wanna erase the highlighter. So by clicking that box there, I can come through here and it will not erase my text. That to me is a really big feature. But if I wanted to erase the text, I can go ahead and choose to do that here. Or if I wanted to bring everything back, I can use the undo tool and then I'll bring it all back for us. So this gives you the opportunity to uh, erase different things as you choose to. Uh, as you work on the planner, you're gonna find some benefits for that. The text tool, pretty self-explanatory. If I tap on the screen with a text tool, it's gonna enable the ability for me to open up the keyboard and type out notes. Uh, where this is beneficial is if you have different devices that maybe have a keyboard or something. Next thing I wanna show you is the lasso tool. The lasso tool is unique that I can Select the lasso tool, and I have various options here I can choose from, and I can again choose to lasso different things. So if I only wanted to lasso the handwritten notes here, I could do so, and lasso that type, and then hit copy, move to the next page, and hit paste, and there is my text. The other part that's really unique about this tool is I can go ahead and use the lasso tool, move it back to my Coffee with Nate meeting. And I'm gonna go ahead and disable my tools, go to meetings here, and I'm going to write that this is gonna be my meeting with Nate. So, and then here, I'm gonna go ahead and select that hyperlink and go to my meeting page. So this right here is gonna be my meeting with Nate. Now, if I hit the page sorter button, it's gonna show me that this page is gonna be highlighted and it's page 637. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the back button from here, I'm gonna go back to my daily page that we were on. And this time I'm gonna use the lasso tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm gonna select this group here, create a group, and then hit the little link button. And here I'm gonna hit page link. And if we remember, we said that that page link was 637, hope I'm right. Hit done, hit done, hit okay. Now, from here, if I deselect and tap on that, look at that. It literally took from here, if I tap on that, it created that hyperlink for you. That is absolutely amazing because as you start to use Penlin, you start to network your notes, your projects into your daily planning. That's really huge to be able to use that hyperlink, tap on a section that's highlighted as time blocking and be able to jump right over to the page. That to me is one of the most fabulous features about Penly and it's something that a lot of other PDF annotation apps lack. And the fact that it's on an Android device makes it even better. So that is a quick look at some of the core features for using Penly. When it comes to digital note-taking and planning, it is definitely an app. If you're an Android user, you definitely want to consider. There's other apps out there that work relatively the same and have a lot of the same functionality. If you're a Samsung user, you might want to go ahead and jump on our website, jump on our YouTube channel, and check out Samsung Notes and how you can utilize that. I'll leave a link in the description and a video at the end of this one if you wanna see that so you can compare if you are a Samsung user, which way you might wanna go as far as Samsung Notes versus Penly. The hyperlink feature is something that's gonna help segregate your thought process a lot. If that is something you're gonna use, then Penly is the app that you're probably gonna to wanna to choose. So with that being said, if you guys learned just one thing today, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you like this type of content and you wanna learn more, subscribe to our channel. If you guys got questions, gals too, go ahead, leave a comment, myself or somebody in the community will reach out to you. If you wanna learn more about our planning system and how you might be able to take the next step and get your vision into your daily plan so you can maximize your opportunities, go ahead, check out our website, keychsuccessplanner.com. We have tons of free training as you can see and we're happy to help you through the process, so start a chat with us. I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder, and Lord willing, we'll see you guys in the next video.